Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be testing out some new makeup that I have picked up recently. So if you are interested in this video, please just keep on watching. I would really appreciate it if you guys give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. There is also a little bell that you can click next to the subscribe button and this will notify you each time I upload if you guys want to join the family. So with that being said, let's just jump right in. I'm really excited to start this video off, so we're going to go in with our first product now. This is the e.l.f. Luminous Matte Makeup Primer, and I talked about this in my last haul. So what I really like about this so far, I have tried this one out. I've been messing with it. So what I like about this one the most is that it fills in your pores. Oh, come on, Mir. Don't hate me today. Then I'm going to put this on the areas of my face that I have a little bit bigger pores. So just kind of right in my T-zone. And then right here. But what I like about this product so much is that it's... It gets like tacky almost. So as you can see... It pulls my skin. So you really want to look out for the tackiness in your primer because this is what's going to make your foundation last so much longer because it really just holds on to it like glue. So I love this primer so much. It definitely gives you that like like luminous glow without um, making you look like oily or sweaty or anything like gross like that. Um, but yeah, I do like this primer a lot. Two thumbs up. Next for foundation, I'm going in with the new L'Oreal Infallible. This is their Fresh Wear 24 Hour Foundation. And this is pretty new to the market. Again, I'm going to take a couple squirts on the back of my hand of that. And as you can see, it's kind of like a watery consistency for how much it like moves um, around my hand. So it's pretty lightweight when you apply it. So it's really comfortable. Next for concealer, I'm going in with the NYX HD Concealer. This isn't new to the market, but it's just new to me. I've never bought this product before. So I'm just going to apply it like I would any other concealer, just kind of in that triangle shape right under my eye. This smells kind of weird, I'm not going to lie. All right. I'm going to do a little on my eyelids to act as primer and then do the rest of my T-zone area. Next I'm going in with the Morphe blending brush to blend this out. I'm just going to press this in. So right off the bat, I will say that this is a little bit like harder than the Real Technique sponge. And that is usually like my go-to beauty sponge. Um, so it is a little bit harder. But I mean, it blends out pretty nicely so far. And for this concealer, I'm already seeing that it's like kind of creasing on under my eyes. And I haven't even got a chance to set it yet so that's kind of concerning and then it is not as quite full coverage as I want so I'm going to add just like a little bit more which probably is not going to be helping the creasing but I do want that coverage still. To set my face, I will be going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. For under my eyes, I will be doing fair, fair Light, and then for the rest of my face, I'm going to be doing Light Medium. So I'm going to grab that sponge again to grab a little bit kind of out of the cap, and then use this to apply under my eyes. And oh my god, it's creasing so bad. 
So let's fix that. And then with a brush, I'll be lightly pressing this all over the rest of my face to set that part. I unfortunately don't have anything new for brows, so I'm just going to be doing those quickly off camera, and then I will be right back. Already, I'm back with brows, and today for eyeshadow, we'll be jumping into the ColourPop palette, the Yes Please palette, and it looks like this. Really pretty colors. So to start this video off, I'll be going in with this shade right here. This is Champs in the palette. I'm just going to lay down a color in my transition area to start it off. So, so far on this palette I can see that there's a lot of kickback as you can see right there. It means it's just like really dusty. I'm not the biggest fan of that but I mean as long as it applies good on the eyes I really don't care. Next I'm going in with Note to Self right here. Again, I'm just going to lay this in my transition area to start building something up. This is a really pretty color wow. So unfortunately for the look I'm trying to go for, there isn't a color like this one in the palette. So I'm going to move on to, let's see if it's in one of these Jaclyn Hill palettes. So I'm going to go in with this middle orange shade right here. This is the Jaclyn Hill Alarmed and Gorgeous palette. And I'm going to be building this just a little bit higher and then a lot deeper and darker on the transition area. Hopping back into that ColourPop palette, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This is French Kiss. And this is like a deep plum shade. I'm going to be laying this on the crease. Oh no! Look at that. Look. We don't like this. This is a no-no. That's a big, big no-no. Oh no. Okay, let me wipe this away and then I'm going to freak out. Oh god. Why? Why does this happen to me? Oh no. And it's staying. Oh, she's staying on there. Yes, she is. Oh no. Alright, I'm going to lay down a thick layer of translucent powder under my eyes to avoid this happening again. Alright, let's try this again. I'm going to go in with literally just like a dab of it this time and try to avoid that again. Again, just laying this on the whole lid. Alright, to start blending that out, I'm going in with GNO right here. It is that shade right there. Again, I'm just going to take a little bit of that. I don't want a whole lot. And just kind of make that transition just a little bit more seamless so it's not so harsh. So I'm just going to be blending those two colors together. To build up that dimension, I'm going to be going in with this yellow shade right here. And I'm going to be doing this on more of like the top part to give it more of that like sunset -y look. purple did kind of fade away a little bit with just blending so I'm going to go over top of that again and just make it a little bit deeper again. So 
So I am really liking how this look is turning out. I hope you guys are too. I want to wing out that yellow just a little bit. So I'm going on the edges over here. Next for liquid eyeliner, I'll be going in with the Essence Superstay Matte Black Eyeliner. And it has a felt tip like that. So I'm excited to try this out again. Here goes the winged eyeliner. Let's do this. So that was probably the quickest winged eyeliner I've ever done. It was just so easy with that felt tip. So I'm super excited to find this little guy because this will be awesome. All right, I really messed up this winged eyeliner, so don't mind that. But so far, this eyeliner is 10 out of 10 in my opinion. I'm super excited to have found this one and would really recommend it. All right, I'm going to wipe this away and kind of start working on the rest of my face. So for bronzer, I don't have anything new, so we'll just be going in with my Tried and True Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And I will be using, hmm, which brush? Alright, I'll be using the Morphe M527 brush, and it is this bronzer brush. Just bronze up the whole face. Top of the forehead. So I mentioned these in my last video too. These are the NYX blushes and I picked out three different shades so I'm going to see which one I like for today's look the most. So I think I'm going to pick, let's see, Pink the Town by NYX. And it's this one right here. So just like any other blush, Start on the apples of your cheeks and then move up. Ooh, that is really like fair. Hmm. All right, there we go. I'm kind of building it up. It's just, you got to build it up. No biggie. It does look really pretty though. English. For contour, I'll be going in with my Lorac Pro Contour Palette. I'm going to be going in with this shade right here with a little dab of that one right there because I don't want to be like overly bearing contoured. And I'm going to be dipping into the same shades to do my nose. Now I'm going to be working on the lower lash line and I'm going to jump back into that ColourPop Yes Please palette. And I'm going to go in with that French Kiss, that purple right here. And then with a detailing brush, I'm going to be here. I'll zoom you guys back in again for this part for the eyes. I'm just going to be tight lining my lashes with this purple. So I'm pretty much just going to be doing like the opposite of what I have on the top. So and then I'm going to go in with like that orangey color. So I'm going to go in with GNO right here next. I'm going to go in with a little bit bigger of a, um, a little bit fluffier of a brush right there and just kind of start smoking this out. And then last that yellow shade right there. For lashes today, I'm going to be trying out the Double Up Ardell Just Double Wispy Lashes. And I've never tried these ones out, but I pretty much love Ardell lashes, so I'm excited to give these ones a shot. I'm just going to grab a little bit of lash glue on these, and then I will pop them on, and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back, and I really do like these eyelashes. They are a very, like, 
va va voom drama lash um, i'm gonna kind of open up my eyes a little bit more i'm gonna go in with my tried and true my white eyeliner on the waterline to open up those eyes a little bit more and then go in with a coat of mascara this is my benefit bad gal bang mascara For lipstick today, I think I want to go with something just a little bit more neutral because the eyes are so dramatic. So I will be going in with my Maybelline lipstick. This is in the shade Nude Embrace. It's just a matte nude lipstick. Damn, that is pretty... I want to add a gloss. Oh, there we go. Mm. That's all it needed. Guys, I filmed an intro. I filmed an outro without highlighter. Like how? How did I forget highlighter? Oh my God. I don't know what the frick is going on. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, but we are going to go in with the Pixie. This is the Glowy Glow Master Duo. Wow, quite the name. And I think I'm going to go in with this shade right here, that one. Ooh, can you see it? It's a little bit darker. But man, these are blinding. Then I'm going to hit my inner corner with that shade right there instead. How the hell did I forget highlighter? Like, really? What is going on in my head? I'm going to hit a little bit of the brow bone up there just to add that little pop. And then for setting spray, I'm going to go in with my tried and true Morphe setting spray. Mm. God, I love that. Alright, and I really do think that is it this time. Am I forgetting another step? Do I have lip gloss on my teeth? Yes, and probably yes. All right, I think that'll do it for this video. Again, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Leave a comment, share some love, and I will hopefully see you guys soon. Bye.